Pete Robbins. I'm standing here in the Strike King booth with Steve Parks, inventor of the Rage Tail, and one of the few people on Earth who has traveled to Mexico to fish more than I have. Uh, How many a times lot. do you think you've been there? Uh, probably 500 times. 500? I've been, I'm old. I started fishing Mexico when I was young. Why do you keep going back? I mean, you have great fisheries here in the U.S. What is it that draws you back again and again? Number one, I have a lot of friends in Mexico. There's a lot of beautiful lakes in Mexico. In fact, some phenomenal lakes. And uh, one of the, the largest dealer for rage tail products and striking products is in Monterey, Mexico. And they invite me to come down there all the time and do seminars and fish with them. And I have a great time. I love it. Before we get into the particular baits, what's your favorite time of year? Is it any time you can go or is there any time? Mexico, Mexico's never bad. There's never a bad time to fish, even in the coldest part of the season. There's always, the fish are still there. They're all easy, they're all relatively easy to pattern on those lakes. And there's so many different lakes and they've got so many different types of structure that if no matter what your style that you like to fish, you can find your style of fishing down there for sure. And um, some of my favorite lakes are definitely uh, down like, like Salto, Camarero, uh, Picachos is great. There's a lot of wonderful. Now Monterey, Cochillo is beautiful. I mean, that's one of the best, I guess it's the best managed lake in all of Mexico. And we do tournaments and things like that. But any time of year, I haven't found a bad time. Between, we go most frequently to El Salto and Picacho. Is there sure. a difference in what you throw on the two of them, either color or the types of baits? Um, well, of course, time of year and the style of your presentation. Now, I can tell you for a fact that a big spinnerbait is is a dynamo at all of New Mexico. Like a Terry Oldham spinnerbait? Like a Terry Oldham, one ounce spinnerbait. I don't throw anything else. I don't need anything else. And plus, it's a big presentation, and I like to catch the bigger fish. So, I'm going to throw a bigger bigger bait. But spinnerbaits are good. But as far as uh, a lot of the soft plastics that I use, for sure the bugs, the rage bug, rage craw is probably the number one hit down there. But also the cutter worm and the menace, all of those which are actually popular all over the U.S. and anywhere. But I use them down there as well. But larger presentations most of the time. And uh, in the spring, for sure, uh, you want to use a lizard like Rage Lizard. I use a lot of those in the spring. But it seems like that any of the baits, and I use a lot of jigs, so I throw a lot of jigs and uh, swim jigs, chatterbait style jigs, they're all great. Our Thunder Cricket, I use that a lot. So, as far as the best baits down there, really, top water, my gosh, on top water, you can smoke them. And it's nothing but, it's nothing but like top water time. Right. And, and I mean, big, great big 10, you know, 10 plus, 10, 11, 12 pounders on top water. Since I know you catch them on everything, but you're known as the soft plastics guru. Right. People always ask us what colors to bring down. I say keep it simple, black, blue, watermelon, green pumpkin. Do you have oddball colors you mix in, or do you bring in a lot of different colors? I have, I have two favorite colors besides green pumpkin, and it's blue crawl. We have a blue crawl that's actually a green pumpkin, basic, but it's got a blue, kind of a blue pearl flash rolled in it. And I haven't seen a fish ever that wouldn't eat it. I'm, if they eat green pumpkin, they'll eat that blue crawl. But there's a lot of time they'll eat blue crawl and they won't eat green pumpkin. For sure. Unless there's, there's a lot of other colors that are good down there. And one of them, one of those is summer crawl. Those fish in Mexico, especially in the summer, spring and summer, they like chartreuse. So the summer crawl, which is a chartreuse uh, belly and a green pumpkin back, that's money. So we're standing here, it's late March, when is your next trip now? Uh, I would be there right now, but it's Bassmaster Classic. <laughs> well, we appreciate your time. One of the few guys who's been to Mexico more than us, and by a great number of times. Steve, do you have a favorite fishing travel website? There's a, there is a, a website, it's called Half Past, and it's, uh, and it's First Cast, Half Past First Cast. We appreciate everything okay. you do. Okay, you guys take care. Una cucaracha pinta,